Hi again, I'm disorganized.religion on TikTok, aka Pastor Sarah, and I'm here to share with you some of my tips for creating viral content. Today, we're gonna talk about engagement. Now, if you're just doing TikTok for your own entertainment, don't worry about this. But if you want to have your video seen by as many people as possible, this might be the video for you. On TikTok, there's something called the For You page, which sends you, the watcher, videos based on what TikTok thinks you like and dislike. It's a continuous stream of content. And the more you like, share, comment, uh, or hold your finger down and select not interested on videos, the more TikTok learns what you like and what you don't like. Over time, your For You page will increasingly reflect your actual preferences. So how does TikTok decide which videos to send to the For You page? First, it decides, is your content suitable for all audiences? Definitely read the most current version of the community guidelines because it will tell you what content is unsuitable for the For You page. And then if you fall within what TikTok considers acceptable for everyone, TikTok will send every video you make to some people. And if those people like, share, or comment on your video, TikTok will then say, oh, this video is engaging. We'll send it out to more people. So they'll send it out to 50 people. And if those folks engage, 100 and so on. This is where hashtags can really help you. And I'll talk about that in a future video. Likes play a very small role. How long people watch the video plays some part. But the biggest things that predict whether a video goes viral or not are how many people comment on it and how many people share it. I happen to have a pro account where TikTok shows me all the analytics on my video. YouTube can have a pro account. There's just an option in your profile. It doesn't cost you anything. And it's worth it because you can see the analytics. Let's hear grandpa and I discuss them. A video of yours from 2020 showed up on my For You page. Was it about ignoring your dog until they calmed down? How did you know? It went viral and TikTok still shows it to like 400 people a week. I'm not sure why. Doesn't seem like anyone liked it. Oh yeah, it's my least liked video of all time. So how does it have over a million views if people hated it? Because it was engaging. Everyone had an opinion about it and they put said opinion in the comments. Most of those opinions were super negative, but TikTok doesn't distinguish. All comments are logged as engagement. The other thing that sent that video viral was that over 4,000 people shared it. Oh, so if I want to support a creator's content, maybe I shouldn't just click that little heart, but I should also comment and, and share. Yes. In fact, you don't even have to share the content. Even if you just click on that little share arrow and you don't share it anywhere or copy the link, TikTok logs that as a share and tells the algorithm it's an engaging video. And so it'll send it to more people. Well, thanks. You're welcome. So to sum it up, if you want your content to go viral, either A, get lucky or B, make great content and get lucky. Second, consider if your video is going to generate conversation. And since you've listened this far, I'm going to give you my super hack for creating viral content. This will sound ridiculous, but it works. The easiest way to go viral with a TikTok video is to tell people they can't do something, but make it something that like 95% of people can actually do. And then everyone will comment in the comments that they can actually do said thing. I had a video blow up to hundreds of thousands of views overnight because I told people in the opening line that I had blocked the word Timothy in my comments, which I did. But over 500 people that day tried to type Timothy into the comments. And even though the comments were blocked, and by the way, you can actually view blocked comments later if you wanna go and review them. But even though the comments were blocked, TikTok still logged that as engagements. Then there were another 500 to 1,000 people who commented misspellings of the word Timothy. There was also some legitimately great dialogue in the comments about women in ministry, and the video got shared a lot, which helped. My best advice is just go make content that you love, have fun, and probably there are gonna be some other people that love it too. And then if you want your account to grow, try to generate some conversation. Good luck, be sure to like and subscribe, and stay tuned for more tips.